Hi coach and welcome back to Tech Your Game. Today we're going to talk about how to use filter functions in Google Sheets and pivot tables to analyze your data. Okay, hi and welcome back. We're, today we're going to talk about how to use filters, but more importantly, pivot tables to analyze the data that we collect from our forms. And we talked about that in a previous video, so if you haven't seen that, go back and check Google Forms for collecting your team statistics, because this is the video where I tell you about how to do stuff with those statistics that makes your life a lot easier. So let's start out with a basic table that you would get back from your uh, form. All right, this is a form that shows all of the games and all of my players for the season and their shots on goal or goals or assists or ground balls or saves or goals against. All of the stuff that I need to know as a lacrosse coach and all the stuff that my players want to know about and need to send to their college coaches when they're being recruited. So in this data, there's a lot of, it's a lot of noise. Okay, the first thing you can do okay is filter that noise out so as you go to your table you select your table and in the toolbar you'll notice this little filter icon here okay and you can you can also get to it using data filter and you can create a filter okay so if i create a filter you notice that on top of each one of these columns now allows me to sort things out now i can clear all values and i can say in goals i want to see you know it's probably not a good example we'll just leave those all selected but if i want to select by a player's name so i clear them all and i come down here to a guy i know of has a lot of statistics wells and i click ok it's just going to show me all of Wells's games, shots on goal, goals, assists, ground balls, and saves. I can filter out all the other noise at that point. If I want to get all the other players back, I just go back to the top of the column, click on the filter, select all, click all, and now they're all back. Okay, and you can do this for any of these headings you want to if you just want to look at your goalie and you know that your goalie's name again we'll click on the filter I'm going to clear all I'm going to go to Shaw because I know that's my goalie I'm going to click on OK and then I can just look at his saves and, and I can figure out his save percentage from there so again I'm going to go back here I'm going to select all I'm going to bring it all back you can filter this out any way you like. You could insert other columns to the right and sum up the table, but I'd rather let Google Sheets do that for me. So I'm gonna use something called pivot tables. Okay, so the way you use pivot tables is you are gonna to come to your filtered or unfiltered data. All right, you're gonna click on the whole area. Just click on this top left block over here. Okay, and then go to data, pivot table. It's gonna give you a blank table. You tell it what you wanna see. You look at the rows, I'm, rows I'm gonna go ahead and put down player's name, columns, so what do I want across the top? Well, I want the games, okay, and then values. What do I want in this field? Well, I'm gonna click goals, and then I'm gonna add another value I wanna see, assist. And as you just noticed, it immediately populates for each game the goals and assists for each player. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so I can go all the way over to the right, and it's going to give me a grand total of the goals and assists for each player and the total for our team. Good information. All right, and as your season progresses, it'll populate the field. Okay, so let's just play with that for a second. I'm going to go back to my original form and I'm going to pick a player. I'm going to pick Wells 
And I'm going to pick a game. I inserted a game here just to add some value. Fictitious game. Shots on goal. Ten. Seven goals. Three assists. Now, when I hit submit the form, watch what happens in my pivot table. Okay, all of a sudden... We have a fictitious game inserted, seven goals, three assists under that player, and it updates in my grand totals so that players can see real time. And I can publish this spreadsheet to them, and I can even make it simpler. I can just select all these fields for all the games. If they don't want to see the games, I can right click, hide those, and then there's a simple little table that I can publish to my players so that they can follow along as the season progresses and get a feel for where they're at. Okay, And you can do this for any stat in here. And you can calculate anything you want to calculate. If you want to come in here and click and create a pivot table for, you know, again, we're going to go to player's name. We're going to go to games. We're going to say I need shots on goal and I need goals. Because in my calculation for each game, what I want is shooting percentage. So I can put in shooting percentage as my new column. And that's going to be my shots on goal divided by my goals and hit enter and it gave me an error because okay it didn't work because of one little thing and you got to pay attention to this anytime you have spaces in your description in this case shots on goal you need to put a little tick mark at the beginning and a little tick mark, uh, like an apostrophe, at the beginning and the end. And then I'll hit enter and all of a sudden it works. The only things that look like they don't work is whenever I have players that don't actually have shots on goal. And that would be my defenders and, and whatnot. But as you can see, I've got all of my players in here now and I can go over to the grand totals and I can see by player who has the best shooting percentage those that are hurting uh, and those that are you know developing and again you can hide all of these columns if you like if you don't want to see it by game but games might be pertinent to you okay I can just go ahead and right click and hide those columns and you can start doing things with explore here as well you can look at how it would graph it for you okay and I, i'm going to come over here and i just clicked on explore um, and it gives you all different kinds of graphs that might you might want to publish that will help better communicate to your team what their data is looking like uh, all of this can be put out onto your web page you could send it to them you could screenshot it it I would make it dynamic. I would send the chart out to a website. We're going to talk about that in a video coming up about Google Sites, which you're going to love. Uh, and you can keep your team up to date up to the second. Again, as the data is put into the form, you know, it updates. It updates in your, your pivot table. So if you publish the pivot table out there active where they can just view it, they're going to be able to see what their stats are in real time. So pivot tables will help you communicate and distill down your information into formats that players and other coaches and beyond whoever, parents, want to see it. And you don't have to do anything except for set up the initial pivot table. All season long, as data is added, it will update. That's Google Sheets and pivot tables using the data from your Google Forms. I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.